Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Killcams and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your IP address. You know, in the past I've looked up several methods to change uh, my IP address. I found a lot, but a lot of them are uh, kind of outdated. Uh, not that it it changed to change your IP address, but just the fact that uh, no one really found an easy way to do it. I've seen one video uh, that was really easy, um, and this is kind of going off that. But I'm just going to show you guys plain and simple how to change your IP address. Uh, all you need is access to your router interface and you should be able to change your IP address. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be working with a Netgear router. Um, but I think I'm also going to do a video for, the, uh, for a Cisco router because I have one. And I can do that as well. So I will uh, definitely show you guys how to do both just in case there's some of you out there who aren't uh, too technologically uh, skilled. So uh, let's hop right into it. All right guys, here we are at my desktop and the very first thing that we need to do is open up a uh, command prompt. Now uh, you're gonna right click on it and click run as administrator, just allow it. Um, but what this is gonna do is this is gonna tell us how to access our router interface. We're gonna do IP config, type that in here. Oh, maybe it's together. IP config. There we go. All right, so we're going to look for this right here, this default gateway. See, mine is 192.168.1.1. That is not your IP address. That is your local IP address that your router has given you. So we're going to go to our new tab. And we're going to type in 192.168.1.1. And what should come... All right, so this is our login. This is for our router. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel this for a second. Um, I'm going to go on Google real quick and I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of like some default logins for stuff. So I'm going to go Netgear default uh, router login. login. So I'm going to click on Netgear support and I'm going to say, oh, so older models, it's 1234, newer models, it's password, but username is usually admin or administrator. But I changed my password, but this is this is for you guys. If you guys have one, it's usually admin and then password for, uh, is the default. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in 192.168.1 again. And it's going to bring up my authentication. I'm going to type in admin. And I'm going to type in my password. I'm not going to say that. All right, so now here we are in my router interface. Um, all you guys have to find really is wherever your Mac address is in basic settings. It's not an advanced thing, but, uh, first, before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what my IP address is. My IP right now is 108.160.72.27. That is my public IP address public. So, um, if that were to get flooded by a, a booter or something like that, I would go offline. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to change it just in case uh, that's one of your guys' problems. Now, I'm going to go back over here, and mine is in internet, and then under here it says router MAC address. It, it default, it was on default, use default address, but you need to be able to change it, so it says, so use this MAC address. So, you can use, I'm pretty sure this is in hexadecimal, so you can use A through F for the first digit, and then uh, the second one is zero through nine. But this last, this last set of digits over here are two numbers for me at least. You guys can just change one if you want, or you can just go in a series. So it was sixty nine. I'm gonna just go to seventy, and I'm gonna go ahead and click apply to this. And um, we should have our IP address change after this. Uh, I'm going to just speed up this process so uh, because it's gonna it's gonna take a while and after this I'm gonna click on uh, test or whatever just so it applies more changes to it and stuff um, and then I'll show you guys my IP again so I'm gonna turn off all this and I'm gonna uh, speed it up right here Alright guys, here we're back and it has uh, 
finished. I have a successful internet connection. Um, now I'm going to show you guys that it did change my IP address, but please do not forget to click um, on apply. You hit, need to apply these settings before you do it. So this was my old IP address. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. It might take a, a little while for my internet to connect. Uh, this happened last time. Uh, last time I, or the first time I changed it. Uh, and there we go. I have a different IP address. Before, this was a 27 and this was a uh, 72, I believe. And now it's 77 and 199. So, guys, that is how you change your IP address. Um, I'm going to do it one more time, but it's going to be sped up just, just for you guys so I can prove that it does exist or that it does work. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to do the outro right now. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to change it one more time, but I'm going to turn off my webcam and I'm going to kind of like do a speed run through it or whatever without webcam or commentary. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe uh, if this video has helped you. Um, a lot of people need to know how to change their IP address. Just so you guys know, nobody it has a default static IP address. A static IP address is actually given to people like businesses that actually ask for a static IP address because they do network stuff. But no one is given a static IP address, just so you guys know. That was a, that's a common misconception. Um, Alright guys, well that's been the video today. It's been Kill Cams and I'll see you guys later.